very much. Uh, General, I notice, uh, well, welcome, uh, Board, and I, uh, I, I share uh, the Chairman's and other people's admiration and gratitude for, to you Thank for you. the service you've been to our country, both as a Marine and both in your current position. Uh, I, I noticed you're wearing a green tie. Yes, sir. Does that mean you're Irish? It means my uh, I am Irish through my daughter Kelly, who was born today. So all right, uh, she Kelly. is Kelly O'Bolden, uh, born on St. Patrick's Day. Now let's see. There's there's Kelly and there's Scott, and then we have Scott, Scott Kelly. Kelly. So uh, uh, maybe uh, you could answer me, answer me the question: Is I understand that the Mars rover has picked up these pictures that have been identified as various elements of a former civilization. And I do understand that they have found an ancient bottle of Guinness on Mars. Is that correct? Uh, Mr. I will go back and check that. Right. I I'll take that for the record. <laughs> and uh, could it be that uh, leprechauns were ancient uh, aliens? I, I, will, alien. I will take that for the All record right. also, sir. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me note about the line of questioning that we just had, and that is, uh, the projects that you outlined and uh, the other, our friends on the other side of the aisle are pushing for NASA to be involved in. We have no question about whether there is value uh, to these uh, Earth-related projects. Uh, the question is only whether they should be part of the NASA budget, and that's, that, that's, that's our main area of debate here. And uh, uh, certainly if, uh, now I won't put you on the spot, but the fact is if we weren't doing some of the Earth science things that, and NASA's budget could stay the same uh, if we took those items and put them into the into NOAA and other places that they belong, uh, or uh, the NSGS, for, for example, uh, you know, then I would take it that you would not be as adamantly uh, insisting how important they are, but maybe somebody else could be paying for it. I would still insist that they're critically important. Um, some of you may remember that in 2014, the, the President's budget request proposed that funding for uh, sustained land imaging, the Landsat program, come from the Department of Interior, uh, from USGS's budget, and the Congress right. rejected that and well, put, put the funds back in NASA yeah. simply because they felt that we were the appropriate organization to have it. The other agencies of the government, we provide the, the design, the build, the production and checkout for all the imaging satellites, almost all that are in the civil sector. Uh, the other agencies don't have that capability. And so it's a partnership, and, and it's worked for 43 years now in the case of Landsat. And, um, you know, we... NOAA today has a, a, a an effective orbiting weather satellite right. when they're they're a little bit better off than folk on. But I do understand NOAA isn't. Aren't you compensated by from uh, the NOAA budget for what you're doing with NOAA there, we, as compared to uh, the Geological Survey? We are indeed. You are. You have to. Uh, so I I think that if I I I would imagine that if we could actually fund these other the Earth sciences and not take it out of your budget that it would be something that would be sure. positive, but I won't put you on the spot on that. No. The, uh, let's note that uh, another thing that's, uh, thing that's saving us money, however, is the commercial crew, and I want to uh, thank all of my colleagues and thank you for the leadership that you've shown in trying to show this cost-saving methodology of bringing the private sector in when we can, and then letting NASA focus on those things that the private sector can't do. And I know that Virgin Galactic right now is b deeply involved in developing a, a suborbital oh, space okay. transportation, which is uh, terrific. Uh, I uh, uh, would hope that we could also, for example, uh, have uh, a commercial approach perhaps to lunar missions. And I know that NASA is not focused on lunar missions right now, but perhaps the private sector could be involved with lunar missions and we could uh, have some kind of involvement there or, or, or coordination, but let the private sector pick up some of the cost of going back to the moon if we can do that. Mr. Robarker, I, you're absolutely right. And I would say, um, you know, NASA's on a journey to Mars. Our, our, our destination for the nation, this is what we recommended and what uh, I, I have to compliment, Chairman Smith isn't here uh -huh. right now. I, I complimented uh, uh, Mr. Perlmutter. They wrote an absolutely incredible op-ed or an article on, uh, you know, the fact that we are the greatest nation in the world. We, needed to be, we need to be going to Mars. 
But everyone should understand, and I, I think we're mischaracterized when they said we're ignoring the moon. We're going to spend 10 years, the decade of the 20s, in cislunar space, and we call it the proving ground. And that is a period of time when if everything works the way we hope, uh, commercial entities, entrepreneurial entities, maybe even some of our international partners will, will ask us to assist them in preparing things like landers that may put humans back on the surface of the moon on the way to Mars. But, oh. but this nation has to focus on the big thing, which is Mars. Well, if, I, if we don't, then nobody goes there. Well, General, I, I think it's possible to focus on the very next step in the, in the stairway. Rather, and that's the 10 uh, years in the focusing, proving ground. That is the next focusing step. focusing on the, uh, where you're going at the end of the, end of the stairwell. One last note very quickly, because my time is up, and that is I, I hope that uh, one of the things we really need is to make sure our country and the world is prepared for a possible uh, collision with some space rock that could kill millions of people. Yes, I, I, I applaud you. I want to work with you on making sure that NASA is playing its role in this global defense against an asteroid or yes, a meteor. So thank you very yes, much. Sir. Thank you. Thank you, and I'd like to recognize.